do we're going to do this mask today the uh, feeling beautiful facial clay mask avocado and oatmeal by Freeman is supposed to deep clean and purify my pores that's what I feel like I want today it's got tape on it because it was shipped from Ulta how oh, very kind of them taped taking it off okay Ugh. is there a seal nope so I'm just going to take my brush and squish it out like toothpaste instead of having to wash another dish. It smells very clean. Very clean. I used to use Freeman masks, the peel off cucumber mask in high school. Alright. Avocado and oatmeal. I should just make one. Would you like to see that if I just did, like, did a, a home mask and tell you how. I've never done that the only homemade masks I've made are with cocoa and aspirin and honey I could do an avocado and oatmeal but I wouldn't feel like that was a that was that would be more hydrating don't you think wow I'm really blurred out by light so much light so little time it smells somewhat like a dryer sheet which avocado and oatmeal would not. That's okay. We'll just go with the flu. I just looked in the, the viewfinder and I realized... See, I have already... I tinted my hair two weeks ago a little darker. It's already rinsed out. And I feel like I want to go darker some more when you color over your blonde hair though you kind of have to fill it if you really want the color to stay and they have fillers and stuff but I haven't decided if I want to just go to my hairdresser and say hey Jesse fix it or if I just want to do it myself I don't know it's expense versus re results Okay. I think I've got a pretty nice layer all over. Don't you think? <laughs> okay. So I am going to let this set and does it tell me how long? Just says let dry and rinse with warm water. Alright, so I will let it dry and let you know how long it was. And I'll be back. I'm back. It's dry. It still smells like, um, it smells like a, a dryer sheet that you put in your laundry to soften your clothes up. And it started itching right around here about four minutes ago. It's been ten. Um, the itching stopped. I'm cracking again. Slay stack. I'm going to go wash this off and tell you how my skin feels. Be right back. I'm a washed, and I don't feel really tight. Um, when I was rinsing it off, though, I was using a washcloth. I was taking off the product. I was really having a difficult time taking off some dry spots. So I took my Clarisonic over it, which is water, and got it off. Um, I don't feel any residue. I don't feel overly tight, so that's good. And. I think I feel refreshed, like Sprite or 7-Up, the Ungola. <laughs> Anywho, I'm good. while I'm sitting here, I'm just going to, I have to buy the full size of this. I am just living by it. And it just takes a little bit. Oh my gosh, does it feel amazing on. I think it's $68 for the full size. And I'm assuming that Sephora will be having their... VIB Rouge sale soon. I will buy the full size at a discount then. Because I just, I'm adoring it. I want to get this, the Glam Glow. Oh, I have an owie on my finger. Excuse it. I get owies all the time. I want to get this, the Glam Glow. A full size bottle of the Josie Marin Argon Oil Light and probably a lot of other stuff 
Mm, it feels so good. It just feels so good. Anywho, um, as a mask, I do feel like it de deep cleaned and purified my pores. Um, it wasn't painful. It did, it did itch a little when it was drying. Um, it had a kind of a laundry smell to it. And it was a little bit hard to remove with the water and washcloth. Um, maybe if you want to do it in the shower where you have more water streaming continuously, that might be easier. Other than that, great mask. I feel good. I feel clean. I love it. Anywho, I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by. It ain't easy being green, but it sure is fun.